Hey, everybody. Okay, so this is, I'm starting this new thing with Zoom, and I don't know which Facebook group is watching this right now live on Facebook. I don't know who this is, but welcome. I hope you're doing well on this Monday morning. And a thought that I had over the last um, two weeks as I'm preparing, we, my husband and I, preparing to send our child to college, our youngest one, there's a lot of thoughts that I that were going through my head. Some of the thoughts, not thoughts I should actually pay attention to and listen to. Do you have those thoughts sometimes? And you say, okay, this is the, my brain telling me lies. I'm not gonna focus on this right now. And some other thoughts are really life-changing. And I wanna share with you what I've been thinking recently as we send our child to college and become the famous phrase, empty nesters. And here are the four stages of life, four stages. And it's really interesting that I thought of four stages because it's like my book, the four relationships everybody should have to live wholeheartedly, right? So this is the four stages. And I would love, by the way, if you listen to it, comment and tell me if you agree with those life stages, with those four that I indicate. And by the way, I'm not going to tell you the age of any of this stage, because I think that age is not the main issue here. It's the stage. It's what we go through. And that's the big part. Some people go through that particular stage and finish it at the age of 25, 26. Some people don't finish them until 35. And that's when they enter the next stage. So I'm not going to say age, but I'm going to tell you content. So the first stage is when we're born, when we go to elementary school and middle school and high school and college, and we get the foundation of who we are. And maybe we meet a person that becomes our partner. Okay. That's that stage. It's all of what makes us who we are going to become, the foundation, which is extremely important. And if you're a parent listening to that and you're looking at your kid and you're saying, oh, I am here, a role model, helping you in that first stage of life. Second stage of life is when we are in a relationship or adult starting in the workforce, being work, not only starting, but growing into our work, maybe having children, maybe not, with a partner in marriage or not, but starting to live the adult life, experiences, becoming a part of a community, getting to know more people in your, in your life that helps you on that or that you are, can enjoy the journey together with them. So of course, for us, for me, it was raising my kids in the United States. I just came from Israel where I did my first stage and here I started my second stage. And watch and be with our kids as they grow older and they go through their first stage, okay? So the second stage for us is when we witness other in our family going through the second stage, or if we do not have children, going through the work environment and finding what is your passion? What is the job that you want, that you can do, want to do, should do? Okay, that's the second stage. The third stage, is when, in our case, send our youngest son to college and become what is known the empty nesters. That is the third stage, is when you have done your work, you have put 20 hours in an organization or 30 years in a, not hours, years in an organization and work somewhere. And now you say to yourself, what really gives me purpose? What do I want to enjoy doing. 
This third stage is when you really look into your life and you say, what do I want to do for the next 20 years? What makes me more joyful? What gives me more pleasure? I just wrote an article that hopefully will be published soon, so I'll keep you posted, about the three Ps to get what you want and deserve in life. And how do you do it? And it's the purpose, the priorities, and the pleasure. And this stage is a lot about, I think, the pleasure and the playfulness in this life. So how do you keep yourself active and healthy and young at heart and moving through that stage, that third stage that is so important? And the fourth stage in life is when you find con uh, you are content. You find an inner satisfaction and joy and know that we don't get out of the fourth stage. You don't get out of any stage. You don't go backwards. You only go forward. And you know that life, as much as I know, and as far as I know, no one comes out alive on that end. So it's that idea of finding inner peace. And how do we want to finish our marathon of life that was not a sprint, but a marathon. And you get better and better as you practice and you go. But you know, what is that stage? So right now, I'm entering the third stage. And all these thoughts are going through my mind about how to make this the best stage it could be. So if you're in any of these stages, I would love to hear what are the things that, that resonate with you from this talk, from this little presentation about the four stages of life. Thank you, everybody. Make this day great. And um, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Bye.